Hey there, YouTube. Uh, so I am repiping my whole house uh, with PEX and only keeping a few sections of copper in the very beginning just because I don't want to get too close to the water heater because there's like something about using PEX too close to the water heater. But anyway, I want to see how much quicker hot water gets to this faucet because this faucet takes forever. So this is going to be the copper test and the water hasn't been used in like 12 hours. All right, and just to prove that the water hasn't been used, here's the hot water heater. It's not uh, really hot right here. Let's see. It's like 72. There's the coupling, 65. So, and starting now. Alrighty, so again, the hot water heater pipe is right around 71. I taped the faucet off to make sure nobody uses the hot water. And here we go. Still waiting. Oh, oh, there it goes. I'm going to keep recording to see how hot it gets. It's a good test to see how much it's cooling off in transit. Oh, looks like it's going to top out at 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, 112.1. Got a lighter out of me. Alright, that's, uh, that's good enough for my test. Alright, the results are in. Uh, it looks like PEX does get hot faster, although I'm quite surprised that it doesn't get hotter. So that means that the heat loss rate isn't as fast as I thought it would be. And this is a 46 foot run. It runs 21 feet from the water heater, takes a T, it goes left about 25 feet, and that's where it hits a T, and then it goes up to the water spigot or the water faucet the shut off. So it actually uses the same exact amount of fittings as the copper section did and the same length. So hope this video shed some light on this. Uh, it's a little bit of a difference, not a huge difference. I'm going to actually insulate the pipe still with some foam since it's cheap. Um, I'll probably make a video on that too. But anyway, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.